Welcome back students. In this video, we see one more problem related to convergence of isometric to orthographic projections. Please, uh, how the question will be asked is to write the, draw the front view, top view and side view of the given following uh, drawing below. Now, what I told you in the previous video is the arrow mark indication is nothing but our front view the arrow mark indication is the front view of the given problem the arrow mark indication isn't it dear students so by looking at the arrow mark indication you can recognize that this view i need to draw first so then next what you need to do here is to read the complete dimensions of the given problem read the complete dimension as i told the front view represents what the dimensions length and height length and height in the Friendly. What is the length here? 60 and 30. We can draw with 60 by 30 a rectangle. Next, top view. Next, we need to project from the top. What are the dimensions of the top view? Top view is dimensions are the same length. What we see in the front view is the same length in the top view and width we'll be seeing in the top. So this is what I see. We cannot see this height. We see the length and width in the top view. So length, width, we can draw one more rectangle projecting from the front view next is our side view what is the side view dimensions the side view dimensions are nothing but what we see height and width combination height and height i mean this height and width in the side view so here looking at the problem it is right side view which we need to project it onto the left profile plane this is what and here the complete problem if you see this is not a complete 60 is not visible 60 by 30 is not visible in the front view there it is a break like a step problem it is a step problem let's look into this how to draw this try to understand the complete problem first then proceed to the problem dear students without understanding the dimensions and without understanding which is the front view do not try to attempt this make a rough sketch of this first this draw the x y line to draw the front view please go through this diagram as well as hear how it is being drawn first we need to draw with the 60 by 30 a rectangle we need to draw a rectangle with 60 by 30 please try to understand here it is 15 a break is there between here that means here it is 60 and here it is 30 as it is 30 at a distance of 30 there is a break step so we need to draw one more line here so before uh, making it dark we are making here all with h or 2h pencil then look at highlight point here how it is being moving that we need to make dark that part need to be made here 60 is completely visible 30 is completely and from 30 here to length in the top front we see only till 30 then it is break at a distance 30 with 15 then it is to be joined here so this part to be made highlighted in the problem here why because only this part is visible here next look at the top view we see these two boxes here so how to get the top view the same length in the top view front view is the same length in the top view whatever the length we see in the front the same thing is in the top view so top view dimensions are what dear students length and width this width how much is the width that is 30 so make it 30 and if you see there is a break again in between here at a distance of 30 that means we see here two boxes square boxes one here the other here with a line in between here when you see from the top when you compress this this will come and join with this isn't it so these two are this so they the draw a line here in between so to get a clear understanding of this two. now right side view if it is a left profile plane we see the right side view you need to draw what a 45 degree line then what we see in the right side view dear students the width of the top view need to be projected or you can understand from this problem it is 30 and how much is this this is also 30 instead of going through this right side views can be directly represented from front view and top view by projecting by projecting from them whatever the points you see what here two small rectangles are visible so this is what we need to be highlighted go through this red point the moment of this so this is what and in between there is a line even we see this also in the side view yesterday and that is a 15 by 15 15 by 15 this is how 
you need to represent and draw the dimensions of the complete drawing and write even the front top and side view naming very neatly and draw the projectors with H pencil and the final diagram with the HB pencil and clearly mentioning the entire dimensions of the problem. Thank you.